On August 4th, 12 motorcycles carrying 16 riders rumbled through the streets of Valmont, looking for something. It was clearly a motorcycle gang, and one that had Valmontians a little unsure about what was about to happen. Where were they from? And what did they want from our sleepy little village? Oh, it's the annual Military Police National Motorcycle Relay, raising funds for the Military Police Fund for Blind Children. After a stop at the Three Ranges Brewery, where co-owner Rundy Anderson presented them with a check for $250 from a percentage of proceeds of sales of their sacrifice red ale, it was off to the Valmount Legion for a delicious Legion-sponsored barbecue supper, followed by live music. We're here with Lamont French, who is the BC Ride Captain for the Military Police National Motorcycle Relay, who's stopping here in Valmont tonight. Uh, welcome to Valmont, Lamont. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. It's great to have you back, and I know this is an annual event. It's the eighth annual event, I believe, for the event. Why don't you tell people what it is that the National Motorcycle Relay is and what you do? Well, back in 2009, a, gr a bunch of military policemen got together uh, to ride across the country and, and meet old friends that we haven't seen in a while. So we threw the idea around and said, well, why don't we raise money at the same time and make it a bit of a fundraiser? So with that said, uh, we started in Newfoundland, came all the way across the BC, uh, met some friends, and we raised money for the Military Police Fund for Blind Children, which just so happens to be the charity of choice for the Military Police back, started back in 1958. So uh, how does it work? It's a national relay, and ha I mean, it, obviously the word relay is in there, but, but how do you actually coordinate something this large? <laughs> lots of phone calls and lots of emails. Uh, we have representatives uh, from all across Canada. Uh, a lot of the guys have come back year after year, so we have that base knowledge that keeps things pretty solid and fluid. Um, we, we do it the same time period, which starts normally the end of July, the long weekend in August, and pushes through till the end of August. It's normally anywhere between 26 and 28 days. And it goes through every province in Canada. Um, one time we actually had crews coming down from the Northwest Territories, but like everything else, sometimes that's not possible. So this is a, a big ride. How many riders are across Canada, do you know? Well, that, that depends on what's going on. I mean. Um, We've literally had hundreds and hundreds of motorcyclists partake because not everyone rides coast to coast. Even though it's a, a full coast to coast relay, it's an opportunity for people to do that. Uh, we Mostly it's guys joining in for a day or two or like here in British Columbia, we've brought a crew of 17 uh, that's actually gone all the way to Jasper and back for the six days. Uh, it's the largest group we've had come full circle when we left Victoria on the 3rd, sorry, on the 31st of July, uh, we left with 30 motorcycles and we had uh, 43 people, give or take. Wow, so it just continues to grow every year. We're very fortunate. It seems to grow pretty good, especially here in British Columbia. Uh, the people, the riders, the communities have really come on board with it. Uh, we're getting stronger and stronger every year, uh, which means uh, the children that we ride for benefit that much more thanks to the generosity and the kindness of the riders and the community and the sponsors. Now, how much uh, would be raised in, in the, on the BC leg and, and how much Canadian-wide, Canada-wide? Well, last year, uh, when we tallied everything up, we were around the 450000 mark for uh, the first seven years. Out of that uh, Team BC in the province, uh, we've raised anywhere between seventy-five and 90000 The exact numbers are still... Uh, we didn't do very good tracking when we reported before, but it's somewhere around there, which is actually uh, the highest uh, in all across Canada for the pro for provincial donations. Wow, that's incredible, and considering considering the populations of Ontario and Quebec. It is. Uh, British Columbia has been absolutely fantastic. Actually, for a couple of years, uh, British Columbia raised more than every other province combined, and uh, it's it's through the information being passed through. Uh, great organizations, uh, media such as yourself, that the word gets out. But the, the people in BC are just fantastic when it comes to, to giving and paying it forward. Whether it's our charity or other charities, it's always been the top-notch priorities, and that's fantastic. 
Now this is a really interesting ride, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand that the riders pay their own expenses uh, for the most part, and that all the funds that are raised goes to the charity. Yes, uh, the charity is 100% for the children. Um, by that, what I mean is it's all done by volunteers, uh, mostly through the military police branch. As I said, it's, it's a recognized charity of the military police. And uh, basically what happens is all the administration, all the, log, uh, the leg work for the charity itself is all done by volunteers, sometime on military time, a lot on their own personal time, because we believe it's the right thing to do. Now with the ride, there is a ride fee that the riders pay. And if they don't want to play the ride fee, then we, we have rec uh, recognized donation amounts that they will go out, see family, friends, uh, companies, organizations, to have them sponsor them to come on the ride. Uh, and with regards to expenses, yes. When a rider comes out, uh, we get uh, hotels to give us uh, a bit of a break. And like anything else, sometimes it's only 15 or 20 percent, which is great because it makes it easier in the pocketbook. And then the riders team up, so then it's like a half price hotel room. But the BC Ferries, who pay for that, they pay for all their gas. We're very fortunate here in British Columbia that all the uh, legions, the legions have been a major sponsor since 2009. And, uh, they take care of about 90 to 95 percent of the meals. I think this year, throughout the six-day ride in British Columbia, there's only three meals that the riders will be paid for out of the pocket. Wow, that's incredible. It really is. It just goes to show uh, what a great organization the Royal Canadian Legion is and how they see giving back. I mean, they, they do remarkable work through the different communities all across this great country, but with us, they've been there for us from the start. Um, they, they do phenomenal work uh, and they believe in us and we give back nationally and they see just because we're not from Vailmont or whatever city or town that we're riding through, do you realize that what we're doing is making a difference in the lives of children and it's fantastic. We're here with Denise and Mike who are first time riders on the military police motorcycle relay. Uh, welcome to Vailmont. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask where you're from? I'm from Kamloops. Victoria, BC. Okay, so Kamloops, you're, you're close. You've probably even been through Vailmont before. I yeah? have, yeah, okay. I have. So how did you, uh, and why did you decide to get involved in the ride? Well, I'm actually riding on the back of the bike with my husband, and um, this is something that Craig and Brenda have introduced us to in the last few years, and this is our first trip, and it's been a really great experience for us. And yourself? Uh, a friend of mine called me, uh, one of the other riders, uh, one of the other first-time riders, uh, he was encouraged by his chain of command to come do this. He's called me up and said, why don't you come do this? At first, I'm like, I can't for these re for the reasons that actually mainly it was range. He's like, no, 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 we stop every X amount of time. So I'm like, done, I bring two jerry cans. So now I can do the whole ride with everyone. Are you in the service? I am. Where, whereabouts? Uh, I'm stationed to CFB Esquimalt at uh, the Fleet uh, Maintenance Facility Cape Britain in the uh, Safety Environment and Hazmat section. So, what's your experience been on the ride? It's a, it's, it's a unique experience, I think, from what I've talked to uh, other people. What, what's your experience has been? Well, you just other than the beautiful country we passed through, um, just meeting the people that we're riding along and building those relationships, and you know, getting involved in the fundraising and understanding where the money's going towards with the kids with the visually impaired. It's, it's all been worthwhile for me. Yourself. Uh, my biggest thing was it was a big learning experience about riding in general. This is the largest ride I've ever done in my life. Um, also seeing, uh, as she touched on, is seeing uh, how people, when you just tell pe about people's generosity, when you t tell people you're raising funds for a charity, their first thing is, oh, okay, we, I always donate. Well, with this charity is there's no admin fee, so every penny goes straight to the children. So when you tell people that, they're on board automatically. We had, um, Lamont has had people at the ferry give them money for this. Mm -hmm. They talked to them for five minutes, even tell me he's fundraising, just laid a shot from cash, so. Just, you know, we get to somewhere, we, we you know, meet the people, the local people, we get to talking to them, we, we get to know the riders, and, and, you know, there's just a special bond there. It's hard to explain. It's just something is just, um, it's just a really nice uh, feeling of getting together with people and, and spending this much time with them. So, so let me ask you both, um, this again is your first time ride, for somebody who's sitting out there saying, hmm, I'd really like to get involved, maybe as a rider or maybe just to raise some funds, what would you say to them? Make the call. If you, they call the Legion, if you want to get involved with this charity specifically, um, it's all over Facebook. They have their website, I'm sure uh, Lamont's already informed you. 
just get a hold of them. Um, any legion that's uh, that um, supports this, get a hold of them. It's pretty. It's actually pretty easy if as long as you're willing to make that first phone call. Yeah. And I, you know, I just see so much. Um so much need to publicize and get the message out there because when we make stops at the ice fields and the parkways, there's so there's hundreds of vehicles, but they don't know our cause. So what I've mentioned to Eve and Lamont is, you know, maybe a banner along the bikes to just mm. inform people what we're actually there for. And, you know, every time we go into a community, we've got the applause and the, and the you know, support and the waves and they know what we're doing because mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's quite there yet, but it's, it's becoming that way. It's just a little bit more advertisement and enthusiasm and uh, you know it's it's there's lots of people that are you know really supportive but I think it just could be so much more and that would well, be awesome for people who uh, uh, obviously they're not going to see this tonight and they, they would like to donate to the cause what should they do call me no in all real reality um, I'm probably the main point of contact I've, I've been at it since 2009 and uh, I'll be helping out next year and I'm going to be the national chair in 2018. But the best way they can do is that we have a Facebook page, Military Police National Motorcycle Relay. Uh, we have web pages. Um, but if anyone really wants to get a hold of me, just quick, make a quick phone call to me at 778-966-1551 or email me at lamontfrench at shaw.ca and I will get you all the information that you need and I'll point you in the right direction and we'll be off and running. And that means if you want a simple thing, make a donation or come on the ride or be part of it. We're always looking for people that want to come out to make a difference, whether you're a rider, donations, sponsors, or just volunteer to help out some way. Because at the end of the day, for this to work, and we could ride and we can do all this, but we need people that feel that they can dig into their pockets and give us some sort of, uh, of donation. Now, with that said, any amount will do, whether it's a couple of pennies, up to whatever they feel that, that, that they can give us. Because at the end of the day, if I get one penny, then I get another penny. After a while, that's a dollar. And that keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. And through the generosity of, of all people all around BC and Canada, we, we, we're doing pretty good. And we can make a difference in the lives of visually challenged children. Well, it's a wonderful cause and it's a great thing that you're doing. Please keep it up and uh, look forward to seeing you in the future. Uh, we will, and, and thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us about this and helping us get the, the word out there. Because like everything else, most of the word comes from uh, word of mouth. But uh, if, uh, if anyone out there wants to help out, we're always looking for people to, to, to lend a hand. Welcome to the second last day of our, our ride. We're going from Belmont uh, to Clearwater to 100 Mile House today. As you can see, the weather is great, fantastic. Temperatures are supposed to get a little warmish as we go. No signs of rain, however, something may peak in around later on in 100 Mile House, so make sure you got your rain gear handy. Any questions, comments, concerns? No. At the end of the day, ride safe and follow the, the yellow, yellow bike. bike. <laughs> yeah. Cool.